So he went to him and kissed him. And Isaac, church, two things bring blessings in life. Your spiritual smell and your spiritual garments. Your spiritual smell and your spiritual garment. Look at it. Before he blessed him, he caught the smell. So he first caught the smell of his garment. Of his cloth. So smell and cloth. And now he said, and he blessed him and said, Ah, the smell of my son is the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. So before the blessing came, there was a smell. Sister, you can put the nice perfume on you, but if your spiritual smell is contaminated, nobody will come around you. My goodness. Sometimes you do you wonder why people go to places. Man of God, come the, the truth. If you come for illustration, you two people go to places, they are looking for something. Listen, the two of them are looking for the thing. She wants to give to them, but one of them will come, she will frown the face and do like this. Another will come, she will give to. Church, church, hear me. And sometimes the one church, the one that was even rejected was more beautiful, more handsome, had more qualification than the other one. What made another person receive it is the spiritual smell. What's your spiritual smell? I said, What is your spiritual smell? So people so do one here. Would do more smell in the spiritual realm, and that is your end. Yes, every day speak on your spiritual smell. If your spiritual smell is all right, you don't need any Gucci perfume on you. But when you enter somewhere, the, the, the smell spiritually will be projected and to speak on your behalf. Amen. 